Hey, what's happening everyone? Cody Lefevre here with some bonus footy up front. I know you're miring these tricks. Uh, just catching you up on training here. This is all footage from April. We'll be playing it at a high rate of speed. And I'll just clue you into what I've been doing with training. Skateboarding is just, you know, having some fun here and there. I still suck a whole lot. It's uh, just actually fun cardio without being too impactful on my hips. Running is terrible. Biking's nice. Skating does pretty good in the pools. You'll see a little bit of that later in the uh, video. For now, though, we'll uh, talk about my squat situation and my deadlift situation. Sadly, my uh, hip is not in good condition always. This is a bad training session, I'll call it here. Just really terrible depth control. Hip stability is awful. Just a lot of really bad stuff i should have just not even trained squats but stubbornly i did paid for it the next few days so i'm showing you this up front in the training video just to do a few things one even experienced lifters people who've been doing this for a while over a decade you know make bad decisions you know it's just part of personality traits so training with that in mind your framework should be built around not just your goals, but also the way that you approach those goals mentally and physically. And this is something that I think that general gains is getting me a little bit more dialed into. I'm, st I'm a fairly stubborn individual, honestly. And uh, the thing about it is sometimes I'll write a workout down and just push my way through it, even though I probably shouldn't. And uh, that's the situation with squats and deads. Showed you that on the front end. Now we're talking about stuff in the upper body, which is doing a little bit better. So we've got rows and the strict press. There's going to be a lot of strict press footage in this video because that is the specific goal that I'm using general gains to hone in on. So to get back to general gains and the framework that I'm using and my clients that have been using it with great success, sending one to IPF Worlds, um, it's pretty damn good, in my opinion, for generally any lifting goal and should you want to build muscle or gain strength maybe gain muscular endurance it can be done for all of those things it's simply a different framework to train within it's like you can use percentage-based training or you can just go with general gains it's better and uh i'll say that right off the bat i just enjoy it a whole lot more been making great progress with it myself uh same with my clients and uh the progress that I'm talking about is my own personal progress here is with the strict press and you know coming back to the point to where I can squat over three plates and deadlift over four plates and if as long as I'm doing it smart I can do that and not feel any repercussions you know I'm not able to maybe have a crazy high frequency of a uh, high intensity stuff like I probably couldn't run a UHF cycle honestly and that kind of seems like a bummer to me at least it did uh however with general gains it's getting me to change the framework of my own training mindset to kind of go back to what i was saying earlier in the video so you'll see a lot of really light squatting and deadlifting relatively the overhead press the strict press whatever you want to call it uh is actually fairly heavy for me i'm weighing about 160 pounds to you know, 157 on lighter days um, barely maybe 162 or 63 on a heavy day we'll say like if I ate a ton of carbs or whatever the night before that's typically not the case um, working repetitions for the strict overhead press is body weight for a 5 to a 8 rep max on a good day and uh, that's what an average thing we'll say so this is some footage earlier in April and uh you know it's just still snowing and wanted to show you some weather skate footage from later in april this is really just good cardio kind of keeping my balance up there it's it's nice you know i'm not going too crazy here I'm not going too extreme but uh it's fun cardio especially here like 10,000 feet man this park is in fair play colorado actually it's empty all the time uh not quite 10,000 feet and uh the bull is enormously huge uh great for cardio so back to training and gym the strict press 
I hit 200 pounds uh, some months ago and uh, feeling good about that. However, it's not the goal that I want. I know that to get past that to that next level is going to take a ton, a ton of uh, effort, a lot of volume. And I'm going through a fairly experimental training block cycle right now. Not going to give any hints or tips or whatever about it other than that it's super fun. And uh, yes, it uses the general gains training system, format, framework, however, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm enjoying this tons. And I will stop talking about the general gain stuff right now and just kind of get back to my physical condition. In these clips here, you see me lifting with a knee wrap on. That's because my left hip jacks up my right knee if I'm not careful. I believe this is just a few days after that earlier session and uh, it really lingers sometimes. This here is a 185 pounds overhead press. I wanted to get it for a three, but sadly I was a little fatigued and uh, the third rep had to go up on a push press, a rest pause when I dragged it for a couple seconds and then decided to just do a push press. So I think I got to five or six singles after that 3RM with 185 pounds. Uh, these are all deadlifts there. Uh, feeling good, working repetitions there, about 315 to 365 pounds on the heavy range for me right now. So that's three to a six rep max in general gains format. So here's a lot of repetitions at 155 pounds. Again, this is about body weight. I'm finding that this is where my technical mastery really begins to suffer. And uh, here is actually a cool down routine that I've got. This is a old school standard barbell that I just cut in half and I think it weighs like eight pounds or something, but it's actually fun for grip and shoulders. So I use that not too frequently. It's just like a nice random break. I don't do too hard every single day. We'll start talking about daily training right now because I've been daily training and tomorrow will be 90 days at the point of the time of this recording. I'm at 89 days right now and uh, 30 days in I hit over at press PR. Uh, I think here in this video you'll see me hit some deadlift that uh, is pretty good progress for me. But the daily training is also another component of general gains that I find to be very fun and both motivating, not necessarily motivating, it produces momentum. That's a much better way to say it. And uh, the momentum that it produces, it becomes unstoppable, I feel. And even though I don't have hard training days every day, that's not necessarily the point. Uh, the point is to continue training and to keep my eyes on the prize and to just commit to that action and do it every day, making good progress, making solid gains, uh, pull-ups, chin-ups, all that stuff is recovering. In a previous training video, I talked about tearing my uh, lower trap and rhomboid up, doing some weighted pull-ups. Uh, that's actually improving quite a bit, so that's very nice. The strict press, again, going back to it, I think this is 170 pounds, maybe, and uh, I, my target rep max We'll say it's a three rep max and general gain. So those of you already familiar with this are going to recognize this right away. I use a floating rep max. So I'm not going to use a hard three rep max always, but I've got a floating range that I work with. Hey, what's happening everyone? Cody Lefevre here in a wild gym, as I call it. There's a placard on the outside. It's official, all right? Uh, doing deadlifts today. And uh, today's actually the 50th day training in a row. 50 days in a row, no rest days. Um, granted, not going hard, like killing myself every day, um, but going, you know, pretty good. There's definitely been hard days, that's for sure. But 50 of them in a row now, I think I might celebrate with trying to pull my heaviest deadlift from the floor, uh, which will be 405. And this is like for over a year's probably span. I've been mostly working with blocks not touching anything too heavy, focusing on eccentrics and doing a lot of this machine back here, this guy right there. I'll do a special video on that later, but 
Um, the hip is feeling a lot better and deadlifts are feeling way, way more promising than they have for probably the last year. So figure 50 days of training in a row would be a good time to celebrate and uh, see what I can do. A few days back, I hit 385, double overhand, no chalk, no belt or anything like that. So I'm probably gonna do 405 mixed grip because it'll go up a lot easier. Um, see if I can still do it no belt though. We'll see how it goes uh, warming up. Uh, the belt is a newer incorporation to my training. So as I warm up here, just watch what I do. Maybe if I put on the belt, uh, just feeling like it. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, here's some deadlifts. Again, this was day 50, so 40 days ago, this deadlift footage. All right, everyone, so here it is. Uh, I did 365 just now, pretty damn easy without a belt. Mixed strip, not double overhand. Um, here's 405. Boop. That's uh, gonna be the heaviest deadlift in probably over a year. For sure over a year from the floor. I've worked with it a tiny bit off of high blocks. That felt good and uh, feeling good today. 50 days training in a row. So let's uh, pull this 405. Set that shit down like a baby. What's up? Pretty stoked on that 405 pull, though it is not the floating rep max I want it to be. I hope many of you are already listening to what I'm saying in this training video and picking it apart for some small things to apply to your own general gains progression frameworks. Uh, upcoming training videos are going to have more hints, so pay attention everybody. Alright everyone, I had uh, knocked out the first portion of that workout. Deadlifts felt good, took a break, uh, went and ran some errands, ate dinner, and now I'm just gonna wrap up the uh, T2 and T3 portion of this workout. Kinda like doing that sometimes because I have the luxury of being able to do that, so it's kinda nice to take a break and then eat a little bit and come back and crush the workout. It's really helped me, uh, I think, get to this 50 day marker and do as well as I have because there have been probably a handful of workouts maybe one a week where I take a long break in the middle of it. And uh, I really like that. So this is one of those workouts. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out some rows and uh, other things and we're gonna have a blast. By the way, this hoodie is just like, hmm, LL Bean, very nice. <laughs> so there it is everyone, April training footage. I've got a uh, 200 pound overhead press under my belt for a one rep max, a three rep max. About 175 to 185 pounds floating, uh, five rep max floating around 160 to 170 pounds, and uh, squats and deadlifts are improving, especially deadlifts, and uh, skating, not necessarily improving, still fun though, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, we'll have more training videos coming, and uh, the burrito videos too by the way, hope you enjoyed that, uh, no more facial hair though clean myself up no longer looking like a bum although i do have the yakish hair so i hope you enjoy the long locks of love and of course all the bonus footy thanks for watching